Hello guys, today I'm going to do a review of this and this is coating thickness gouge for car paint measuring and at first I will do a short review and then I will tell you in this video why would you need this and I will tell you the pluses and why I choose exactly this car coating measuring gouge If you're interested, let's get into it and let's review. And this thing is B-Side CCT01. I will do a full review so as unboxing as well at the very beginning so you see how it looks when you are buying it it's called CCT01 guys as you see here on top and it comes from China and I got it for 80 euro and there are cheaper these car measuring gouges but they have more problems you can't switch from metals because as you know guys there are uh, simple metals and then there are colorful metals like cuprum and aluminium this thing switches automatically it automatically switches depending on what metal you are measuring and as well plus it has can uh, measure in microns or it can measure in millimeters or mini millimeters as well guys so it has as well all these options so as whenever you are doing measurements on this thing it is storing them in memory and you can after print them out in your computer and do a full review and this is fast where cheap things which you buy for for example 30 dollars from different shops from china they will be much slower this takes measurements straight away i am very happy with this and that's why i am showing you this in this video so let's go and have a look at this and Later I will do some measurements on actual car when I will show you how this all works. I boxed it so you can see how it looks when you open up it has a manual. It has a short manual. Then it has this CD which you can install this device and get results. Then it has calibration things and these calibration things are they have like simple metal and uh, this is simple metal and this is aluminium kind of metal where you can calibrate to zero with these Next is measurers. When you are calibrating you can check whether your device works or not but it, this device works very well without even calibrating guys. However I will show it to you and then we have USB to micro USB wire. This goes connected to this whenever you want to connect it to your computer. We have a device itself. Coating met thickness measuring gouge and it is B-side CCT01. And the box is empty. Let's start with switching this thing on and when you switch on you just click power button. And one more thing I wanted to mention when you are buying it and when you are getting from China you have to put two batteries in here and it is two, two AAA batteries which don't come included in this box you have to buy them yourself and add them to this device yeah, I have this device for some time and it battery is still full it's showing here in the bottom corner that battery is full we have switched it on now and you see it has lightning so you can work with it at night and if you don't want back lightning you can switch it off by clicking on this button and if you want it back you just click it back like this at the moment these two buttons doesn't do anything until you get into menu and to get into menu you click on this button and here you see there is a lots of different options which you can choose from like you delete data if you would want to delete data you just click this and you don't click these buttons whenever you are navigating this menu you are clicking only these four buttons if you would want to delete data you would click enter and if you go into enter you you can select whether you want to delete current data or current group like 
we are not going to delete anything so we will go back by clicking on this button then we have recall we click into enter recall and we can see not any date so there is no any data in memory of this thing so we go back and we go browse stat and here we can as well see statistics for this device just by clicking in and you see number mean min max and so on and so forth so and we go back next thing is options and we click into oh sorry guys I exited by mistake let's go into options enter here we have measuring mode and if we go into enter measuring mode you see that there is single and continuous measuring mode and continue and difference is that if you are selecting single mode it will measure every time when you point uh, your device to the car to the surface of the car when you are selecting continuous mode you can actually drive with this thing on the car like kind of put it drive it around the the surface of the car and it will be taking measurements and storing in itself as you saw there behind before we saw where you can actually see these measure uh, see where these measurements are getting stored and then we go back group mode probe mode and actually probe mode is we got enter and here you if you want you can leave it auto like I mentioned if your auto is selected this means that it will automatically select uh, whether you are measuring a metal or you are measuring uh, aluminium or other uh, colorful met color metal basically but if you have auto it will automatically check itself and it is checking it is working very good and you can leave it always auto and it will always depending on surface you are measuring uh, paint on it will will re recognize it as you will see in a minute when i will show you this calibration how it works and this between these two metals this is pretty much it and you can here select more things like unit settings let's get into unit settings and as i said you see that um now it's in microns you can select change it to millimeters or milli milli millimeters uh, i don't know what these mills me, uh, mean but millimeters and mills even smaller measurement but and one more thing between cheap devices and this device is that microns me measurement is much more precise than if you get these cheap devices which you buy for 30 euro and they have only millimeters uh, you measuring pain sickness in millimeters so this is much better and as you know guys then these things professional these things cost can cost up to 1000 euro where this costs only 80 dollars and this is really good and i have checked uh, professional things and this and this works pretty much the same so let's go back if you decide to buy this you can play now let's try to do some tests we have two plates and these plates are for calibration and for calibration it means that you can set it to zero so you make sure that this is on zero whenever you are calibrating and then you can start measuring on your surface or any car and we will try it like i said at the end of this video and this it is like aluminium thing colorful metal it could be caprum or any other uh, colorful metal and this is simple metal and now I will show you how it works so before we start we need to open it to start it you just need to go to very start and wait until this device is loading up and now when it's loaded you can see um this means that it is in microns and very precise measurement and now what we need to do next is to put this on this surface and as you see it shows that there is no color or no anything ab about this metal and now we try with another plate and it recognizes F in the corner there is F this means that ferrum that this is simple metal and if we measure this just let's go one more time it says N and it showed us precisely that there is no any covering on these two metals like and now like i said there is a third bag where which you can do for just testing purposes to test how it works and these are small things but from now you can already start go to your car or whatever and start measure doing measurements i will grab one which is 1000 microns this is 1000 microns and i will put it on top and now let's do measurement it is kind of very very precise 990 
94, it's almost 1000 because there could be dust or anything else. Let's measure other one. And as you see, it's 1.01, .01, it, it is 1000, because 1, it means 1000. And we can try another one, let's say this one, 500 microns. Let's try this one. It's 481. We can try one more time. Okay. 485. So let's try on another metal and it's five and as you see guys it is very precise it is very precise because it's now measuring in microns and microns are very precise guys so yes guys and now let's i will show you show you quick test on car <laughs>